ना बड़ा डिस्काउंट रियली हाउ कम वो ओनर फैन है ना मेरा सो आई एम इंप्रेस्ड सो होप यू लाइक द मील एंड द डिस्काउंट यू गॉट विद स्विगी डाइन आउट गो आउट एंड डाइन एट द फाइनेस्ट रेस्टोरेंट्स एंड सेव अप टू 40% ऑन योर बिल्स ओनली विद स्विगी डाइन आउट I'm the, I'm looking forward to it because that hasn't happened for a long time and we all know the rivalry between both nations Hello and welcome to our India Pakistan conclave we are building up to a series of India Pakistan contests the Asia Cup and the World Cup once again the two countries will be on tenter hooks awaiting some real humdingers and some real classics and we look back to some India Pakistan classics 1992 all of us remember Kiran Mohre and that frog jump Javed Miyanad needling him you know Sachin Tendulkar's match it was 10 overs 1 for 37 scoring 54 not out 35 ball 42 from Kapil Dev India won an incredible win our world cup record 50 over world cup record against Pakistan was intact yes again the world cup did not go well for India Pakistan under Imran Khan went on to triumph but for every Indian that was one match which India celebrated Tendulkar's first India Pakistan World Cup contest and he remembers it fondly you know Amir Sohail Javed Miyadad it was heated it was really heated and the Indians pulled off a spectacular one I asked West Indian legend Kartli Ambrose I mean he's bowled in some critical matches how does he look at India Pakistan two top teams how does he look at a Jaspreet Bumrah and a Shaheen Afridi how does an Ambrose look at fast bowlers from both sides about this particular contest he had some great things to say what did he say listen in Personally I'm always a bit biased to the fast bowlers because I'm a former fast bowler myself and of course the way the pitches are these days and all the different rules and regulations everything is tailor made for the batsman so it's a lot harder for the fast bowlers nowadays so I'm always in the fast bowlers corner so whenever the fast bowlers do well or they get a surface that is responding to fast bowling and they make batsmen uncomfortable I'm always happy for that will be played in india and of course no other cricket nation no the conditions in india are better than india so that is a start however they will still have to play and play well because all the other cricket nation have toured in there before they know the conditions as well so home advantage is not something you can take for granted because if you don't play well you could lose So India will have to play well and playing at home there's a certain element of pressure because the whole Indian population expects India not only to do well but to win the World Cup on home soil so it's going to be under pressure for India but I believe these guys are highly experienced and they will cope the pressure they will, they will cope with the pressure very well Umar is a wonderful bowler very very different than any other fast bowlers I've seen very very unorthodox but highly effective and yes to answer your question when you're coming back from an injury after a long layoff it's always concerning for the bowler because you don't want to get injured again and in the back of your mind you don't want to go flat out too soon or too quick so it's always a bit of concern in the back of your mind so I I reckon when Boomer does come back he'll be an asset to the England to the India bowling lineup and my advice to him would be to take it a little bit slowly don't rush back into it or try to go flat out from day one obviously he will have some practice sessions maybe some games before but it's always important to take it on a slower basis build up into it and they when you're really comfortable then you can go flat out but you got a wise thing to go flat out from ball one because in the back of your mind you don't want to be hurt again
I'm, I'm looking forward to it because that hasn't happened for a long time and we all know the rivalry between both nations so I'm looking forward to it it's going to be I believe it's going to be some high quality cricket because both nations want to prove a point so I expect some high quality cricket and I know for sure the turnout will be magnificent everyone wants to see that, that, that competition including myself so I'm looking forward to it